Hello, my 608 fake bakers. We're gonna do an upside down splatter cone. Uh, there's quite a few different ways to make it. I'm just gonna show you how I do mine. I'm grabbing my Bose brown clay that I ordered off of Amazon. This is foam clay, 500 grams. Really love this stuff for gingies or um, you know ice cream cones, anything brown, cookie bases, that kind of thing. And I'm really gonna work the clay. You wanna condition your clay before you use it so you can avoid cracks once it's dry. Once I worked my clay, I'm just rolling it out. You don't want it too thin. You definitely don't want it too thick either. Roughly, you know, well, I'll show you here. I'm not very good with measurements. I'm just gonna show you roughly around that thick. I'm gonna lay that down. Then off of Amazon as well, I ordered these fondant impression mats. Uh, they actually came in a set. So I got a bunch of different, um, different impression mats, but it also came with four of these waffle cone, sugar cone, um, impressions if you want you know with the diamonds and the thing I like about them is they can line up so as you'll see I'll end up using two of them so I laid them down and then I'm just going over it with my acrylic rolling pen make sure that the impression is there and I'm just gonna take my clay just kind of loosen it from the side and then you're gonna do a fast strip like a band-aid and then there we go with our sugar cone slash waffle cone I'm gonna lay the impression side down and then I'm going to grab some bamboo cones that I have that I also ordered off of Amazon. They're party favors, um, they're biodegradable, so a lot of people use them for parties, that kind of thing. Um, I kind of use them as a base for ice cream cone. Usually you want something more solid um, if you're doing this just in itself alone, but because this is gonna be on top of something else, I'm not gonna to worry too much about filling in that space inside the cone. It's not gonna be it's basically just going to be resting so i'm not going to fill that space um, but i just took my super glue and did it right on the edge and just kind of rolled up that edge of the clay over the cone and rolled and then on the other side another little thin layer of super glue to adhere and now i'm just cutting off excess and i'm going to fold down that rim a little bit and voila there's your your cone um, ideally you want to do let it dry overnight. I'm just kind of rushing through this stuff. So I didn't let it dry. You do, technically you do because you don't want to get fingerprints if you're handling it um, while the clay is still wet, but um, I managed to be very careful with that. So now I'm just going to grab a styrofoam ball, whatever size your cone is, just kind of match it up with a styrofoam ball, whatever looks like it's going to fit the best. Um, and then you're going to slice off just an end, just a very small end of that styrofoam ball so that the styrofoam ball sits flat. And I'm grabbing my Annie's Treasures clay. I ordered it off of Annie's Treasures on Etsy. Um, kind of the same thickness. And then I'm going to take my super glue again. I like to use Loctite. It dries really quick. Try to get avoid getting it on your fingers, though, because if you're going to continue to play with clay, it can, it can get kind of messy. But I'm just going to drape that clay right over the, the ball. And then you're just going to kind of, you know, use your fingers to, to form it around the styrofoam ball. Some fake bakers will just do the ball and then they'll make a separate little pad of um, melted ice cream, if you will. Uh, I like to do it an all-in-one. It just looks more realistic to me. It depends, you know, it's personal preference, depends on the look you're going for. Um, so I just use one slab of clay to make the whole thing. And now I'm just gonna take my rolling pin and I'm gonna extend the drippage, the meltage, whatever around it, if you will. Um, just a little bit and then I'm going to cut off some excess. I don't want it, I don't want such a big puddle of ice cream um, for this project so I am cutting it down a little bit. I want to make sure that it fits well and nothing's going over the side. So once I do that I'm just kind of making sure everything's around it and bada bing bada boom there's our ice cream that is melting. Now to get the cone on what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cone and I am going to kind of place it on the ice cream where I want it and then I'm going to press down and by pressing down it's going to leave an imprint don't do this too long because wet clay will stick on wet clay um, but I did press down so I have that circle and then I'm just going to follow that indentation with my super glue and then I will attach the cone just like that 
pretty, pretty, pretty. Now I am, I want this to be somewhat simple. There's going to be a lot. I'm making graduation card boxes. Um, so they're like fake baked cakes. And then this is just going to be an embellishment on the top of it. So I don't want it too busy, so to speak. There's going to be a lot on this cake. So I'm just going to go with sprinkles that I ordered off of plate code three. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my super glue and right on the edge of the cone, right on the seam, I'm just going to take some of my super glue. And again, this Loctite dries super quick. So I do like using this um, for sprinkles. Otherwise, you can use hot glue as well. Just make sure you push them down in the hot glue so they stay. But I'm just going to sprinkle these over. Press them in a little bit without getting super glue on your finger. And that's it. That's really all I'm going to add to this, um, with the exception of texture. We're going to add a little bit of texture to the ice cream. Usually I use my grill brush or a wire brush, but because this project, project is so small and it's an embellishment, I'm going to go ahead and use a toothbrush. Um, I'm making really deep indentations. Uh, reason being, if once the clay is drying and it's dried, um, the foam clay can puff up a little bit. So you want to make sure that any textured indents that you're making are pretty well down in the clay otherwise you may lose some of that that look of texture so to speak when it dries but that's it that's that's our upside down ice cream scoop so pretty fun pretty cute if you guys have any questions of any of the products they used or just questions in general let me know love you guys bye